Daddy! Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about No Man's Sky and what is happening in the game since the release of Beyond a little over a week ago. Beyond has been out for a little over a week and they are constantly working on it. Chances are they will fix most of these things eventually, but I did want to share with you some of the Beyond bugs people are experiencing and what you can do to try to fix this. Hopefully some of the methods I share with you today can help you to fix some of the bugs that you're experiencing. As I'm sure you know, especially if you play No Man's Sky, there are quite a few bugs that have yet to be ironed out. Like remapping the keys, that used to work and quite well, but unfortunately now we don't have the option. Another one I've seen is the game crashing as you leave a merchant on a planet, or being thrown from the building before the game crashes, that is another one that I've seen. These bugs are annoying for sure, but ultimately they're not game breaking, and they don't happen too often, so it's not the worst when it does happen. But there are three bigger issues I would like to bring up and go over. They are the Nexus and the issues landing and loading into there, your base and what to do if you are now a guest at your own base, and lastly your freighter. Some people have reported theirs has just disappeared entirely, so I'd like to cover these issues and hopefully help a few people out. Let's start off with the Nexus inside the space anomaly. I'll start off by saying, wow, fantastic job they did with the Hello Games Death Star. Tons of shops in space, definitely super eye-catching now, and making it a community hub has been quite enjoyable. Everyone I have met has been super friendly, and it's been an overall positive experience. Hey, I gotta go. I gotta go, I'll see you later. I have to go. I have to go. Go. So I will see you later. Oh, he understood me. <laughs> what, what a gent. This experience can be less enjoyable if you can't land, or when you do, it's all choppy and laggy. This is quite hilarious if you are on the ground watching this happen, but if you are the pilot and this is happening to you, it is not so fun. Look, so if look, you find look, yourself helplessly floating through there. the anomaly, oh being unable to land, just log out and log back in and try to reload your last save. Try re-entering the anomaly and landing, and possibly begging the game to let you in. I know quite a few players who have been experiencing this, and I see it almost every time I enter the anomaly. Another thing that might cause this is loading from your save directly into the anomaly. It can't be helped if that is the last place that you saved at. But if you can remember, try to leave the anomaly and get a save point somewhere else other than the Nexus. Your base, freighter, planet surface, or even out in space. It's best just to be safe and practice this method to try to prevent any bugs or crashes from arising on your game. At least until they have worked on the Nexus a little more. Now let's move on to some much more crippling issues. Losing ownership of your base and or freighter. I'm going to be sharing a few methods and fixes shared by Bach over on the Steam community forums. I have linked this down in the description below so you can look at them as well. There will be two possible routes for you to take. One is the simple route using the save editor where we can just reload a previous save point. If you're lucky, this may be the only step that you have to take to restore your base or freighter. Step two is for more advanced users and will require editing of the text in the game save file. If you're going to go this route, make sure you back up your save before editing. As stated, this is for advanced users only and should be used only as a last resort. Improper altering of your save file could corrupt it and require you to start over completely. Please use caution and use at your own risk, as I am not responsible for any alterations you make to your save file. Alright, first, let's talk about the possible issue for you not owning your base, the Interstellar Terminus. This next part is all just speculation, but from what I have read, it's this bastard that is causing a good majority of the problems. So the purpose of this terminus is to visit other people's bases. You meet a cool dude through the Nexus, you get to talk in, and you want to show him how cool your base is. Bam! That's the whole purpose of this terminus. In theory, it's a super awesome idea for players to connect better. However, in execution, many people have been reporting loss ownership of base or loss of their freighter entirely after using this terminus. Like I mentioned, this is speculation, but here is my theory on this. 
My theory is that when you use it, it takes you through the portal as a guest, since you would be a guest at another person's base. But since you can't portal back through it, it gets this weird bug where you stay as a guest, even at your own base. This is still just speculation, but it does kind of make a little sense. Some people have noticed this immediately after using, and are lucky to find that their previous autosave just reverted these effects. You may have to download the No Man's Sky save editor to load a further back save if your autosave isn't doing the trick. I have a link to the save editor in the description, and we will go over using it right after we talk about the freighter. Some players have reported losing their freighter entirely after using the cursed interstellar terminus. Best method for this is to reload an older save and hope that you still had your freighter back on that and play from there. There is a more advanced method to recover your freighter and we will cover that as we go through using the save editor. So first off, I will show you how to access your older save file from the save editor. And I could be wrong, but I believe there are only two save files that you can load from. So best hope that one of these two works, otherwise you're going to have to use the more advanced method. Use the link that I've provided in the description or go to nomanskymods.com and download the save editor. So once you're at nomanskymods.com, Go ahead and make an account so you can get the save editor. Locate the save editor, download, and install. You're going to have to unzip these files. You're going to get a JavaScript, so if you don't have Java, you're going to need Java Runtime 8. So make sure you get that downloaded. Download and install that, and then you'll be able to run the No Man's Sky save editor. It's a Java version, so after you download, you can see that I can run it. If you don't have the Java, it's going to do this this weird command prompt glitch thing and you're going to freak out for a second, but just go ahead and download the Java right after and you'll be able to run it as you can see. All right, so once you have Java downloaded and you have your No Man's Sky editor, the executable jar file, I just want to go ahead and launch it. And then right here, you see your Steam name and then a whole bunch of numbers. This is your save files from the No Man's Sky, the ones that we want to get into. So see right here is your save path. Drag it in there, copy and paste, whatever you got to do, back that up before you start messing with it, just in case you do something wrong. Click open, and then sorry for the huge screen. But over here, you'll be able to see all of your slots that you have for your different save files. So if you did another one in creative mode or did something else like this. So you can just click on slot one and that'll be your saves. And then this is how you can go back and load a more previous save. So if it's not, if the auto save isn't working, I believe it holds just one more save before it and go ahead and give this a try. If you hop in and it has the save file and that doesn't work, then go ahead. Click on save two, click save changes, and then you should be go. That should be how you revert back to the previous save and hopefully that will fix any issues you're having with your stuff not being your own. Here's what we'll want to do if we want to do the more advanced method of the save. So up here in file, you can go over here to edit and then hit edit raw JSON. And then we're going to want to search in these folders for persistent player bases. So I believe it's going to be in player state data. We can just navigate with these little cookies here. So we're going to want to look for our bases. So right here, this is the folder that we're looking for, persistent player bases. And then these different numbers are the different bases that you have. When you find your base, there's a folder called base type. And we're going to want this. And if your main base says external planet base, then this is the issue that you're having. external planet so if you see if you see it looking like this external planet base just go ahead and change that to home planet base and then make sure you click save when you're done and then that should hopefully make it so your base that you are a guest at now is back to being your base and then go back to the main tab where your save files are click save changes and then you're done you can get back in the game and see if that helped you out there's going to be two things you want to try if you've lost your freighter entirely so the first thing you're going to want to try is look in your bases to find your freighter. So I think mine is under number one. When I click base type, it says persistent base type freighter base. If yours just shows two quotation things, uh, I'll post a picture of what it looks like. 
if it just looks like it shows two sets of quotations, then you're going to need to change it. See how mine is just persistent base types freighter base? Just change it right to something like that. So in the same places that your bases are stored, you might be able to find your lost freighter. But just look around. Mine was number one. When I click on base type, it says freighter base. But if you just see it having two quotation marks or also nothing, then this is your freighter base. So we can just change it to a name like this persistent base types freighter base. So the second part to the freighter fix that has had the most success is going to be this next part that I'm going to line out. So definitely try this first step of looking in your main bases to try and find your freighter. See if you can change it that way and get that to work. If that doesn't work, then we're going to want to go to edit and we'll, we'll still stay in this, this player state data. But then we're going to look for current freighter. So we're going to scroll down till we see current freighter. And then under the file name, you're going to want to change it to this. I was lucky enough to not have my freighter disappear, but this is what mine looks like in my file name. So go in your current freighter file name and then make sure that it has this text in here. If you look at the Steam thing, they have some other text in there, but mine didn't have that in there, so I'm not 100% sure. But he also stated in here that this is just for your generic ship and not a capital one. And if you did have a capital ship just right after industrial, it'd be industrial slash capital freighter as as it is in, in that post right there you can go check it out but mine was just the industrial so this is the only one i can confirm once you get it like this and like that then click save changes and then that's it you should be all taken care of this fix has helped quite a few people but it might not be the fix that's perfect and takes care of everything for you but hopefully it should at least help or it gives you a route to try before you give up and start over so if you catch it right off the bat and then you try to do something like this, you should be good to go. Again, it's not a perfect fix for everyone, but it has been giving a lot of people success. So please, yeah, go check it out. There's other people commenting on the Steam forum. And a big thank you to Mr. Bach right here for, for posting this up for a whole bunch of people. Say so I have this linked in the description below, so check that out. There's also a, a Reddit section that I will post up. It's the same thing. It's the same instructions, but it's got some more discussion on it. And that's it, friends. A few how-to methods on how to restore your No Man's Sky game to its former glory. Uh, I really hope a few of these methods were of some use to you. And hopefully they've patched and fixed these issues and this video is irrelevant. But right now, that is not the case. So just hoping that this will help some people out. They seem to be pretty on top of some of the hot fixes. So we'll just have to wait and see and hope that these methods won't be required for much longer. A big shout out to Back or Bach on the Steam forums for posting this helpful information for a bunch of people to use. Click the link below to check it out, and you can also see a few other people who have got it to work successfully. Comment below with any questions and I'll do my best to answer, or, or any crazy bugs that you've seen recently in No Man's Sky since the release of Beyond. I know there's definitely more. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Get subscribed to see future content, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Peace. Hey, yo! Yeah! This guy's dancing with me!